I guess just on a Wednesday, did it, did it feel like maybe a little like last year where Bridget was trying to do a lot and she didn't have a lot of help? Uh, I mean, the, the, obviously the box score shows that. Um, but, you know, I think we the, the odd part about it was it's kind of what uh, when we've struggled, uh, we haven't shot it well, and we put the other guy on the free throw line. And those are the two things. And, um, you know, I think we had – you know enough shots, and we had some opportunities. I think the game changed when we when she got in foul trouble, and you know we had a couple of people get tired, and and we had some people in the game at the end of the half that probably wasn't the best combination, but we really didn't have a choice, and we were still hanging around, and uh, you know we still had you know chances, uh, but yeah, I mean I think when you look at the box where there's no question that if you take her out of it and you look at what everyone else did, uh, it was just a tough night, and unfortunately. Uh, it happened all on one night. Luckily, it hasn't happened too many times, but it certainly happened on Wednesday, and you got to give TCU a lot of credit for that too. But uh, you know, I think the, the shots that we got, you know, we'll take. But again, the bad field goal percentage and uh, uh, the, the free throw difference really uh, cost us. Um, when you, when you, uh, your team shoots poorly, is there anything you can do to change the next game, or just, like, just cross your fingers that you shoot better? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that the, usually when it happens, um, you give some credit to the defense, but at the same time, um, you know, we got 72 shots. Uh, that's that's a lot of shots, and uh, you know, it's 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 kids that have made shots in the past, and usually, you know, it's it's it happens. It kind of gets. You know, gets in their psyche a little bit, and it's it's one of those things that uh, we've seen it get contagious in a good way, and it gets contagious in a bad way too. And uh, you know, I think sometimes you're you know you're shooting not to miss it instead of just just taking the shots in the rhythm of the game. And um, so it is it's part of the game. Uh, you know, it, and you watch it every, games on TV all the time, and you're like, you know, how did they, how did they miss that or why? It just it is what it is. It's frustrating, uh, but but still, you, you got to do some of the other stuff. You know, we didn't defend very well at times. We again, the free throw situation that we, we just didn't do a very good job there, and uh, just didn't make enough plays. Uh, and, and against a team that was playing really well. Just finally notice any instances where maybe tough times on defense was affecting the offense at all? Yeah, I think it, I think it's obviously sometimes it does, and, and I think some you know when when one thing doesn't go well. Um, it, it, it's not a game that stops. You, you go to the other end, and, and a lot of times you're carrying that baggage with you rather than, you know, what we try and tell our team, all, and every coach does, is if it doesn't, if you don't make a shot at one end, go defend, go get a rebound, go make a hustle play. Or sometimes the hustle plays on defense translate to offense, and that's the nature of this game is it goes back and forth. And uh, that's why I always think it's hilarious to me that in the NBA they talk about, oh, he's a two-way player. Well, you're supposed to be, uh, but it seems like that's a big deal. So uh, we, we try and figure out ways to impact success. And, and I do think sometimes, you know, when, when your shot's not going in uh, or you're making mistakes, it does. And, and I think that's that's hard to get over. But at the same time, there's a part of that 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 means they care. You know, you know, they do care about what's going on. And, um, you know, hopefully uh, we can we can understand that, learn from it. Uh, Yesterday was a walkthrough day. This time of year, it, it's not like this time of year you're gonna go out and grind it out and practice. Uh, you, you gotta, you gotta figure, finish out a way to get to the next one, and the next one luckily is at home, and hopefully we'll play better Saturday. This team is showing a pretty decent ability to bounce back from poor performances this year. The very few they've had seem to usually respond in a good way. Yeah, I, I think we have responded really well, um, and, and I think a lot of that is a tribute to. The chemistry of our team, the leadership of our team. Um, you know, we have some talented kids that know how to play, and and you know, you just got to try and make sure that they understand that. Uh, yeah, to be accountable in that moment. It should be disappointing in that moment, but then you have to decide. You know, where you move move to, move on to. That that's life, and you know, in basketball, you, you don't win the next one because you won the one before, and you want to avoid losing the next one because you lost the last one, and. You better figure that out, and that's a sign of maturity, and especially this time of year, and for us especially because we only have three home games left, and you know you don't want to waste any of those opportunities, especially for our seniors. So uh, I don't know what will happen tomorrow. I'd be shocked if we don't play hard and play well, and hopefully it will be good enough to win.
I heard you on the radio. You said it's mid February. So did you disappointed? You can't like make your team run or anything like that. Mm -hmm. How do you get a message across to your team at this point in the season? Uh, usually, luckily with this team, you don't have to say a whole lot. They get it. Um, but I think this time of the year, when when things go like that, you you you, you show them a stat sheet and you show them video, because those things don't lie. That's not my opinion. That's not someone telling them, hey, that's what this happened or this is what the coach thought or this. They're facts. And so you look at it, you, you, you try and quickly review it. Like yesterday, we showed him 15 minutes of the game, took a break, took a 15 minute break, let him go out and shoot, and then come right back in. Let's start over. And uh, so you, you, you kind of have to do it that way. And, and and obviously you rely on the maturity of the older kids, and you talk to them about where you are and what they've accomplished. And you know, this team's done a lot of good things. It doesn't change because you lost one game, unless you allow it to. And, and the choices that you make to move forward, again, just like anything else we do in life, you make a choice to accept responsibility, get better, what do I do to get better? Or, or you use an excuse and you let things go the other way. So we got a lot of things to play for and uh, hopefully uh, tomorrow we'll play well. Also, Oklahoma State, uh, what, what, are you, what are you looking for in them? You know, they're a team that's always been hard for us. Uh, you know, Vivian Gray, put 30 on us the first time. Miller can really score. They've changed their lineup a little bit, um, but they always defend really well. They're very personnel driven. Scouting report, uh, it was two very different halves when we played them down there. We played a phenomenal first half and they played a great second half, uh, but they're always going to be a team that's going to be very efficient. They're going to get the ball to their best players uh, in a lot of ways. And, and defensively, they're not going to beat themselves. They're going to they're guard the right way. Uh, they, they've always done a really good job. So, um, you know, they're a team. They're one, the next team on the schedule that came in here and beat us last year. Um, that's been a, a, one of those little goals of ours to to not lose again to the same team uh, that we lost to at home last year. And except for Texas in that two-point game, we've done a good job of that. So, uh, and obviously, you don't want to fall two times in a week. And how many teams can you sweep? And there's all these little little boxes that you want to check off and. Uh, you know that's that's a big challenge for us tomorrow. You say there's something on the cooler with, with, with the crossing. Uh, is yeah, that we, well, we have uh, we we put up all the teams that beat us last year at home, and we have a little graphic, and it's on the refrigerator cooler where they get all their food, so they have to see it every time they open that door. And when one's over, we just cross it off, and um, luckily we've crossed off a few of them. But yeah, they, it's, it's unavoidable. If they want to eat, and they all want to eat, uh, every time they open that door, it's right there in front of them. So uh, it's a nice, gentle reminder that uh, of, of of what uh, what's ahead of them. So who does uh, the honors? Who gets to cross it off? Do you or anybody? I don't do it. I let them do it. I I don't even know who's been doing it. <laughs> Someone I, does it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's definitely been crossed off. There's a big check mark. Uh, so there at least someone's doing it. I don't know if CB does it for them or what, but uh, at least it's something to kind of just a general reminder of what we want to do this year. And again, it's a, kind of one of those small internal goals that we had from the beginning, and it's been good so far. Cool. Thank you guys. Thank Appreciate